fascinated me to see the lengths that fishermen will go to to get the right bait for the right fish. And this area behind me is no exception. This is the area where we can get those pink prawns and those green snapping prawns. And it seems to me that fishermen think that the harder it is to get a bait, the easier it will be to actually get the right fish with this bait. This is knee deep mud behind me here, and this is the place where we're gonna go get those pink prawns and those green snapping prawns. Let's go get some. Yeah. Uh, uh, this seems to be the right sort of mud we're looking for. Uh, when I asked about this, I was explained to that when you go down to about knee deep in the mud, that's exactly the right place to pump these uh, orange and green prawns. Let's see if we can get some. Uh, when they said this was going to be hard work, man, I didn't really think that they truly meant knee deep in the mud when you get to the right place. But this seems like it's the best place. This is the most that I've ever seen in one spot. And it's exactly here where the mud is so very, very soft. Oh my word. Oh my word. There we got one. Ah, this is the elusive green snapping prawn. Oh, I tell you what, it's hard work to get these guys, but uh, it's really rewarding to know that this one is going to catch me a really nice big Stienbrasso Granta. You really have to look very carefully once you pump it out because these prawns, that bottle green color, goes so uh, well with this uh, zoster grass that we have in the Lagunia that they're so well camouflaged that you can almost not see them. So the thing that I look for is the movement. Let's get going. Can somebody, somebody, a tractor, a four by four, please? Uh, uh, We were very successful in gathering those prawns yesterday. Please just remember that when you do gather these prawns, you're only allowed to take 50. It doesn't matter how many species you take, only take 50. This way, our kids will also have them available to go fishing with one day. Tight lines.